Welcome back to the channel. Well, on the last video that I did on the ICOM ICR8600 programming and scanning, you can see a card up there, hopefully, that will link you to that video. Uh, we talked about just basic programming techniques. So this time we're going to take it a little further. There are some advanced uh, programming and scanning uh, methods that uh, ICOM has provided with this receiver. So stay tuned. On the last video, which was about basic programming and scanning on the R8600, uh, I didn't show you how to actually add a channel in between other existing channels in memory. So let's take an example here. You see in channel two, we've got this GYQ, channel three, we've got MGI, channel four, we've got OME. So let's say, uh, that we want to add a, a frequency of, uh, let's say, 145.4. So what I can do is, is go over to the VFO, whoops, and uh, dial up 145.40, and go back to the memos, memory channels, and now, if I touch on any of these channel numbers, you can see there's our three channels of interest here. I want to add, because I like to have my channels organized in ascending order in terms of frequency, this is 145.39, this is 145.45. I want to put that 145.4 in between these two. So the way it works uh, when you're inserting a, a memory channel on this radio is you have to go to the, the next highest channel number before you uh, hit memory insert. So if I do that, I'm now on the one that's above where I wanna be, push and hold that. It's now created this uh, number four here, which if I dial this, you'll see that that OME moved from four to five. So now it's made a space for us here. So if we go back and hit VFO, and dial up the frequency we want, which is that, and then we hit memory right. It's now, if we go back to memory, you see that that's in memory channel location four. We haven't labeled it yet, but you can see it's now pushed OME out to channel five and all the subsequent ones out further. So if you, uh, if you wanted to undo that, you could go back into memo here and you can see that uh, we're on channel four, which we just inserted. We can say memory delete and that will actually take it out completely. So now OME is back on memory channel four and MGI is back on memory channel three. Let's say I've got a couple of noisy channels in my uh, particular group. And this one, it's group zero one. I've got, if I go on to the next frequency, you'll hear that's quite noisy. And there's another one up here that's quite noisy. So rather than uh, let those keep stopping the, the scan operation, I can put in what's called a skip and I'll show you how that works. So let's go back to that noisy station and we'll hit the memory channel and then there's a button down here called skip and you notice it puts the word skip in right next to it here. So now we can go on to that next one which I know was up here. That's also noisy as verified by the volume control, and we can put a skip on that as well. And now if we go out and we do a scan of the memories, you notice it's now able to get through scanning the entire group without stopping on a noisy channel. So, uh, but let's just uh, show how that works if we get out of that for a moment and get back into here. 
and go to those two stations. This one it says skip. Hit uh, skip again. It says P skip, which is program skip. We're not going to talk about that in this video. Hit it again, and now it's disappeared. So now it's included in the scan. So if we go back and we scan again, it stops on that that noisy station. So that's why we use skip. So as you can see, we've got quite a number of uh, memory positions in this particular group. I think it goes up to something like 19. Yeah, so let's say you wanted to, instead of scanning the entire group, you just wanted to concentrate on a handful of repeaters or frequencies or whatever within that group just for the time being. So what you can do is, let's say we want to include memory position 00, 02, and 03. We just want to scan those for now. So what we'll do is go in, touch the memo or the memory channel number, and we're on the first one we want to select. So if you hit select once, you'll see it comes up with a star one. Now, I just discovered this as it's kind of funny. There's actually nine groups that you can make. As you can see, as I scroll through here, every time I touch it, it goes, it increments up by one. So let's uh, go back to just one here. As long as all the channels that you select are the program channels, uh, in this case, we're gonna pick 0, 0, 0 2, just touch that once so it says star one and three again touch that as long as they're all the same number star one star two star three or whatever star one in this case for the three channels we want to have it scan through then it will scan only those channels and so what we'll do is we'll hit the scan button and it's actually started doing it. But I just wanted to show you that down here, it's showing the selection number. See that star one, that's the group that we're actually going to just scan. So if we hit select, 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 that gets us down here. We can use the VFO knob to actually change that group that we want to scan. Now ours are gonna be star one. So we'll just start that. And if I slow down the scan speed here, you can see it's just those three, the same three repeating. So now if we stop that scan and we wanted to go just back to a, a normal scan, we can hit and hold, select. You'll see it comes up with this screen and we wanna clear all those selects that have the star one. So just push that and say all clear, say yes. And now if we were to go back into this screen, you'll see that that star one no longer appears on any of these. So it will just scan the entire group again. The next kind of scan we're going to look at is called program scan. And that basically means you're gonna scan between two frequencies and uh, repetitively. So I'm in VFO mode here and you notice I've it's just got a random frequency uh, dialed up. So to get into the scan menu, we hit menu and then scan. And you notice down here there's, it says prog, which is program. And P00A and P00B represent the lower and upper bounds of that range over which you want to scan. So you're not dealing with memory channels per se, you're just scanning continuously between these two frequencies. Now you can actually go up to P49A and P49B, so there are 50 different uh, groups of program scans that you can set up. On this particular one it's saying right now 140, 
104 to 146 megahertz. And I want to change that. So if by tapping on select here, you notice first it highlights the program channel designations. I touch it again. I'm now into the first frequency, the low uh, edge of the uh, range that I want to scan. And it says I can uh, use the main dial. You can see it's changing the frequency. But that's a could be a bit slow and tedious. So you can also go edit and just type in directly. So I'm going to go change this to 145.0, enter. And now I could change the upper edge, but I'm not going to. So let's just hit enter. So now you notice that it has 145 and, and 146 is our, our range. Just by also Tap, tapping the select button. It now takes me down here so I can change these parameters as well. Let's say the tuning steps. I can use the VFO knob to change my tuning steps, but I'm going to leave it at, at 5K. And uh, I'm going to start the scan now. And I can slow it down by hitting the scan speed here. And you can see it's going from 145 up to 146. Speed it up a little bit more. Goes up to 146 and then it will loop back to 145 and start scanning all over again. And there it is. Now we're going to look at something called Delta F scanning. Delta meaning change. And what it means is you choose a frequency or a memory channel and you say I want to scan plus or minus X number of kilohertz or whatever around that around that frequency or around that channel. So I'll just show you how it works uh, in VFO mode with a frequency. So let's say I just uh, tune up to 81 8.2 let's say megahertz. No particular reason, it's just a, a place to start. And if I hit menu, scan, uh, type set, I can say delta F. And now you can see it's got some other random frequency in there. But I want to set that and by touching select, it will now highlight it and I can use the main dial. And by turning it, it will now like back and forth. I'm not quite sure why it works that way, but it comes up with the value that I've dialed into the VFO. And by hitting select again, I can change the span. And if I want to just, uh, let's say I want to go plus or minus 50 kilohertz. No, let's make it 20, just for, for ease. And hit start. Start again. So now what it does, it starts at the center frequency, which is 8.2. And it went up to uh, 8.25. And it would have gone down to 8.15. And started again. Let's see if my math is correct. Sorry, not 1.5. What am I thinking? This is 20 kilohertz. So it only goes up to 8.22, as you can see up here. And then it goes back to 8.18. So it's scanning around that center frequency of 8.2 megahertz. So let's do it with a memory channel. Now we're in memory mode, as you can see. And we've got a repeater dialed up. Hit menu, scan, type delta F. And it's got a, a frequency in there that I previously had. So let's select that and move the dial around. And now it's come up with 145.39, which is what we want. And we're going to scan again at plus minus 20 kilohertz. So you can do it from a memory channel as well.
The last type of scan we're going to look at is called priority scan. And what that means is you could be listening, say, to a broadcast, and you may want to have the radio interrupt that broadcast when a particular channel that you've got programmed uh, has some traffic on it. So maybe you're monitoring a repeater to hear when a net starts, or maybe you just want to hear when there's traffic on a particular VHF aircraft channel. So we're going to do that. We've got this broadcast station set up right now, as you can hear. And we're going to go and set up an aircraft channel as a priority channel. So the first thing we want to do is go into menu and hit scan. And now that will, we can go to type and we were already there, but we'll just show you there priority. And now it shows you uh, three things here. One is number. You can actually set up a number of, of these priority scan setups. Uh, it shows where the priority channel is, the, the one that's going to interrupt this uh, broadcast. Uh, it's in group two and it's channel zero zero. Well, actually, I want to use ch uh, channel six from that same group. So if we hit select, 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 that gets us down there. You can see what channel it or what frequency is currently and channel that it's currently uh, set as a priority. So using the VFO dial, I'm going to go up to six and uh, so now I can start that process. You can start the scan and if we listen, you can still hear our broadcast. But this button, the prio button, is a priority button. I can temporarily listen to the uh, station that uh, I've got set as a priority channel and you can see that it's flashing prio there. So let's go back to our listening and when traffic is on that channel, channel six, it will stop this broadcast and we'll hear, we'll hear the traffic coming through. So this might take some time. And there you go. You could see that the uh, VHF aircraft frequency uh, interrupted the broadcast and then went back to the broadcast after the traffic ended. And that's it for scanning modes. There are more modes in the uh, manual that you can explore yourself, but that's all we're going to do for this series. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.